it's very, you know, important to give back to your community, man, because we got to keep, you know, passing on the baton to the next generation, man. And honestly, bro, if the youth seen more positive role models like us, like when we was coming up, they wasn't teaching us to do podcasts. It was like go play football, go hustle, go rap, like stuff like this. The kids need to know, like, hey, you can make some money doing podcasts. And that's another reason I, I, like, I rock with what you're doing. And let me tell you now, bro, in front of you, like, I'm really proud of you, bro. Ah, bro, I'm proud of you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, like, like, what you're doing besides, you know, the clothes. Like, like, yeah. Come back to giving back to the community. That's more of a bigger picture. Right. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of folks don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of stuff that go down here. Mm-hmm. That's why it was important for us to have you on. <clears throat> but let me ask you this, though. Uh, what year exactly did you launch? YK1K. 2013. I launched it in 2013, like February 2013. Like, 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 what was that battery behind your back? Like, what made you happy? Bro, we was young, bro. I was like 20 years old. Like, <laughs> I was just young, bro. I had, it, it honestly, bro, was a gift from God. Like, stuff like this, you can't just say, I'm going to do this and, and I'm going to keep doing it. And one day it's going to pop. Like, it was honestly like a gift, bro. Like starting a brand called Young Kings One Thousand. That's a random name. Yeah. That's so random, bro. It's not a lot of cast star brand. They, they give it like, you know, particular names. Like you know, but this Young Kings One Thousand came from God. It was a reason why. You know what I'm saying? Did you have any reservations calling it that at first, or did you just go with the first mind? Man, uh, like I said, at first it was Young Kings clothing, but I was like, the women used to hit me like, man, we can't put Young Kings on. We don't, we're not young kings, we're, we're queens, this and that. So I was like, how can I, you know, universally brand my my name? So uh, my brother, Cool, say Cool, and his his uh, posse, his people, you know, they always say 1K. We're going to keep it 1K. We're going to keep it 1K. So I was like, hold up. They wear our clothes. They support it. So, you know, we're going to call this the YK 1K, Young Kings 1000. Oh, shout yeah. out to say Cool, boy. Yeah, shout out to Cool, man, for the inspiration on that. So that's pretty much where you got the inspiration behind. Man, man, nah, it's deeper than that, bro. Nobody knows this, what I'm about to say. Like, did you, you went to Adwell? Did you go to Adwell? Yeah, bro, so we was in Adwell. We was young, bro. And it used to be like these cliques. Um, I don't know if you remember, bro, it was a clique called uh, like TYB 5000. 5000. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I thought that was so dope. Even though they was gang banging, I was like, bro, that, that shit dope. That's I want to be a part of TYB 5000. So, what is that, though, homie? Like, I, I don't know nothing about that. I'm a hussy hawk. I don't it, know it's, it was some type of gang, bro. We were so that young. Was that a hussy side? Y'all know what's going on. That's a hussy side? I mean, that's an ad wheel side. Yeah, click. Yeah, TYB 5000, bro. So, that's kind of where it feels from. Like, just the terminology of putting a thousand behind a name. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of I never told nobody that because nobody will understand that. But y'all, I do all these interviews with people, they don't understand the history. Like we in Dallas, I could y'all could relate. But yeah, that's that's kind of where it kind of fueled from, bro. Yeah. 